extra kitchen space. It does not have to be expensive. You don't need to spend thousands on cabinets or pantry systems or anything else. These are two six-foot lac shelves from Ikea. One of them I got on clearance for $8 because it was scratched on one corner, which is not visible. The other is a full price one. I think they're about 20 bucks. So for 30 bucks, we got plenty of extra kitchen space here. We also added um, some curtains in front, which are the little cheap $2 rods you can get at Walmart. And these are actual shower curtains that I've cut to fit to slide across. Uh, the lac shelves fit right into the wall really easily and uh, look great. Much better than spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on redoing the kitchen. This area here would have been originally where the dining room would be for this house, but you know, this little kitchen over here is not adequate for what we what we need. So we got these two IKEA butcher blocks, which I've mentioned them a lot, so we won't go into very much detail. They've been very helpful, and they have drawers in each one of them. Uh, two drawers in each, very helpful. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that you don't have to spend tons of money for extra storage. Uh, we do keep some freeze-dried foods on hand, in case of emergencies, and I store a lot of them up here in the living room above the head above your head here above the door and these are also Ikea like shelves that run down I went ahead and I trimmed these out with pine because it kind of matches our our pine motif throughout the house anyway you don't have to spend tons of money to get tons of extra storage and these shelves above here are some of my favorites because they're literally just out of sight out of mind as far as the you know when you can see them and maybe that was a really stupid quote for this but you know you store your items up here they're in a part of the house you can't use anyway, so it's a really good utilization of space. And down here I was able to store some more decorations, but it doesn't cost a lot to get a little bit more kitchen space and save your, save your sanity um, because it, there's a lot of stuff we use in our kitchens. So these curtains just close up, and I'll grab the other one here. And I chose shower curtains because they are washable. That one's kind of a little bunchy, but they're washable. And in the kitchen, when you're you know using sauces and meats and everything else, you can just wash these off with a, a paper towel and a wet rag versus fabric, which you would have to probably wash in the washing machine. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. We're here to help. Thanks for joining us.